Hello everyone, welcome back to Belgique Profond. We've got a, a new crew here today. Uh, everybody else is away, so it's we, we Terrible 3 are working on more of the corn harvest. Oh, maybe you get a bit closer, it's trying to pull it away from me. Actually, I can run off and unload. Anyway, we're, uh, we're just harvesting more corn for the biogas. So we will be completing that today, I hope. And then we may do some mowing or something, I'm not sure yet. Alright Beavis, uh, on this turn you can zip in here and pick up and I'll just go unload. This is only half full, but close enough for right now. Alright, so you can shift in. There we go. Good enough. This will keep us busy so nobody's hanging around waiting. Alright, so so this episode, yeah, we'll uh, we'll work on the biogas. Um, good money. We got some good money coming in now. We've got three hundred thousand dollars, so we can afford all the goodies. So, so I'll talk with Car, and we're gonna find some some more mods to add. Oh, doing this in a funny angle. Here we go. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll add some more mods and uh, see what we can find for '70s equipment, especially for you know like beets and potatoes, that sort of thing. I don't know what's available. Getting pretty tired of those little harvesters, though. Yeah, uh, that's not really a lot to choose from, from for those crops. No, that's too bad. I do yeah. like the vanilla beet harvester I like. I don't care for the t potatoes, but anyway. What's your percentage now, Beavis? 34. Yeah, okay, so we're probably going to have some downtime here so we can do some mowing in between while we're waiting. Because otherwise we're each going to be hauling like a half load, and that's kind of wasteful. Because these things are fuel hooks. So, if you're 30% full, I'm taking a guess that you guys will get up around the corner here. So we'll park up here. I'll just leave the engine idling. Now, the alternative... Hmm. Yeah, I guess that'll do. Alright, so... Who is mowing? Looks like it's all mowed. So we need to... Looks like the forage wagons are sitting idle. So I'll grab another tractor. The beast. A beast. So let me know, Beavis, when you get to about 80%, and then I'll come and grab the other tractor, and, and we'll just keep switching off like this. All good. So in the meantime, I'm going to be using the forage wagon here. We've got a bunch of lawn, or lawn, a bunch of grass mowed over here by the uh, by the farm where the mower and the crane sit. Scooping it up. Grass man. So everybody excited about Farm Sim 15? Yeah. I sure am. How about you, Beavis? Yep. yep. Well, they say that they're making lots of changes, so let's, we'll see what they come up with. Hopefully it'll be good. You can sip over now, Hitman. Okay, you're at 80, are you? Uh, 92, I... It kind of went faster than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> okay. So Toby will have to stop when he gets full. Yeah. But I think you're quick enough. I think we can do this without hesitation. And I'm out. Oh, look at awesome. that. We're like pros. Sort of. Yeah. I'll call it that. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I was expecting you to just make a herd left there. Yeah, um, I was gonna make a butterfly if I did that, I think. A flutterby? Flutterby. Alright, Beavis, so when you get back, just um, park your tractor there and switch over to the... There's a, an international sitting over there with a the forge wagon on it. So you can start on that until I'm getting full, and then we'll do another switcheroo. Okay. Now I did it just to 
cut you off. You won't get me an X one. As long as you do it the <laughs> same way again. This will be the last little strip along here and then we're back or down to a kind of a squarish field. Throat's dry, I get a cough. There. Of course, I just finished my water. Yeah, that's, that's not very good planning. Driving around without my beacon on. Oh, me too. It's a dreary day here on Belgique. <laughs> so I've been looking, let's kind of go off topic here, but I'm uh, looking at different maps because uh, of the problems I had on Breitheim. And I found. Uh, Land of Italy. Wow, it's an ever a complicated map. I wish we could do an LP on that one. But it's uh, probably not server friendly, if I had to guess. Looking forward to see your series then. No, um, be on Monday. Uh, let me see. This episode will be up on Wednesday. So it'll, hopefully you'll have seen the video two days ago when this goes live. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. I forgot. I'm at 78% uh, Beavis. Hardly even get okay. time to start, do, don't you? Whoops. <laughs> and I just reached a track though. Yep. It's Toby, he's a good harvester. I'm at 90 now. Yep, I'm on my way. There, how's that turn, Toby? Keeping up with him, I'm full. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll drop this off as fast as I can, and then I'll head over and do some more scooping. Yeah, so the uh, Land of Italy map has uh, a spot for force mod, so you can, you know, put this up by a sawmill and all that. So I'll be doing that before the season starts. So we'll start with it. And it has the soil mod, so I haven't used that very much. But uh, you've been yeah. using it quite a bit, haven't you? Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. Have you used it, uh, Beavis? Mm, the earlier version, I think. Uh, with just the, um, the weeds. I don't know if it's made by the same guy, but there was a weed mod earlier. That one I used to use, but um, yeah, not a big fan. Well, this one, it's, um, you know, you get a, the soil pH wherever you drive, like it, you open up the PDA and it will tell you the location you're at, the soil conditions. So that's kind of neat. So, uh, so I'm just starting, and I just started on uh, like starting on my test game, and and I haven't figured out yet how to line the field. I think I just fertilized it instead of liming it, but um, I must have filled at the wrong fill point or something. Well, you can see it if you uh, if you if you lime it, it should uh, show on the field, like yeah, like you spread line. Does it show yes. like yellow pellets? Because that's what I could see. Uh, it should uh, the the ground should turn. Somewhat white or with white spots on it, but you won't you won't know that it's actually done anything until midnight, right? Yeah, I think you need to plow it or cultivate it. Yeah, I, I sprayed it and then I plowed it because the field w had been cultivated, like it starts cultivated full of weeds. So yeah, I actually have to go around and and um, it's. Uh, Acidic, so you gotta go around and spread the lime right from the start, I think. 
Anyway, so I'm going to learn all that, and then hopefully I'll learn it before I record, otherwise it could be a train and rack episode. Wouldn't be the <laughs> first one, but... What are you at now, Beavis? 57. Okay. Now, at some point, if you guys want to switch jobs, you can go for it. Yeah, you can just say when, Beavis. No, oh, it's fine with me. I'm a uh, patented tractor driver. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you get bored, then let me know. I never get bored with farming. Okay. How about bailing hay? No, not bailing, just... Uh, Tethering and... Oh, and tethering. I don't like those two jobs. Bailing can be fun if you use the right uh, bailer. Yeah, I like the... Uh, what's... I forgot the name of it. Big bail pack or, or whatever it's called. Yeah. Round and round. We need fat here to sing around around the field we go. Oh well. Yeah. Indeed. 86%. And I'm off. How's that for slick? Yeah, I kind of ruined that moment. <laughs> I didn't you you were there. Yeah, it's okay. It went well, and I don't think we lost any, so that's what matters. That's gonna be a tricky turn, isn't it? Yeah. Right now, and all what you do at that turn, so I'll be ready for it. Yep. Yeah, I think if I try it just to turn, it's gonna get worse and worse. Mm hmm. This went well a couple of times, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, well. Your punishment will be to go and clean it up. I think uh, Thad and Serenar had a hand with the uh, the harvester as well. <laughs> I think they had the same kind of problems. First few turns, you know, if you're not used to the machine, that thing is a bit tricky in the turn sometimes. Yeah. It wants to, you know, it's hard to turn, then all of a sudden, ooh, away it goes, and you're like, oh, it wants to go yeah. away on its own. Especially in if, if it's in the middle of a rubber band mm -hmm. situation. I'm at 55% now, Beavis. Okay, then I go collect some grass for a minute. Mm hmm. But as for cleanup of the machine, can't you um, pull a normal trailer behind that thing? Um, you could. I'm not sure if one of these tippers would work or if you have to use a dolly wheel one. I'm um, just go ahead, Toby. Yeah. Th that thing oh, has a great range, so. It does have a pin hitch on it. Yep. Yeah, I, uh, the van those green vanilla ones with the dolly wheels. That's what I always use when I'm doing it solo. I don't think you can hire a worker on that, can you? I don't think so. This hire worker. No, if it if it work. Well, then uh, just hit H and see if it hires a worker. 
Oh. Close. Oh, excellent. I didn't know it would. Of course, it turned off when I <laughs> yeah. fired him again. And that should reach. Okay, first load of grass is dropped off. Alright, we're at 86%. Oh, where did you drop it off? The grass bunker? Yeah. Dude, that was biogas. That's alright. I'll just get Car to do the front loader work. <laughs> you can load it all up and take it over. Actually, we've got so much grass here, we're probably going to end up taking, loading it up and taking it over because it's worth doing. Yeah, sorry, I didn't know. No, that's alright. Right behind you. Alright, I'm at 98, so that's close enough. So regarding cleanup, I don't know if we'll, we'll bother. I mean, there's there's a bit around, but by the time you burn the fuel to go get it all, and the time, the time it takes, yeah. I don't know if it's worth it. Probably not. If I was doing this solo off screen, yeah, I'd probably do it just because I'm weird like that. Oh well. I think I'll stop and get some fuel while I'm over here. Glug, glug, glug. It's too bad there's no slurry tank here. Unless that's it. I don't know. I'll have to look. I know nothing. Hmm. No, uh, there is one there because I come over here to fill up before. I just don't know how much is there. So I want to try and kind of get over close here and see uh, how much is in the tank. Must be a below ground tank. Uh, 126,000, that's good. You can go ahead, I see. Yeah. You think that tipper will take all the rest that's there, or are we going to need more trips? No, it looks pretty good. I'm at 36% now, and we don't have that much left. Okay. So I'll just kind of pull us over in the field in case we need it, and then I'll go and do some more forge wagon zing. And then, actually, instead of forge wagoning, I should be. Jeez, I can't see where I'm going here with all the trees. Uh, I should probably go and grab the cultivator. I'll park this here. And you know what? I'm tempted to get a plow and plow this corner. Because we don't use hired workers, so... You know what? That is just what I'm going to do. So it's going to be plowing time. I like, um... I just noticed for the first time that there's, a uh, one of the things you see on modded, a lot of modded tractors is when you're plowing, the uh, it bobbles all over the place as if you're actually, you know, plowing. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah I, I never. Whatever that's called. Yeah, I never noticed that until like last night. I was doing some plowing and noticed it. I need a new spot for tippers, I think. All right, so car is gonna miss it. I'm. I'm going to use the plow again. Oh, I think the plow is over here, actually. Hmm, is Yenemog going to be in the way? Yep. How you doing there? 66% and almost finished.
And Toby is trying to get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't catch me. Blame it on lag and allergies. Yeah. Very funny, you said lag and my connection starts rubber bending. Now Beavis just trying to guess which way I'm gonna go next. <laughs> Yeah, we got a beefier tractor for plowing last time. It didn't go as well because I had a pretty small tractor. So hopefully this international will be enough. The Nash. And now, mister? You're all finished? Yeah. Alright, so... so. Wouldn't you? Yeah. Alright, so now what we need to do is some cultivating. For the first bit here, I'm actually, I'm not, don't think this is the right direction for it, but it's too bad, so it's way easier for lining this up. Whoa, what is going on there? Okay then. Wow, I haven't seen that before. Is it the slope? It looks like it must be the slope. What's it doing? Uh, the thing swung right around 90 degrees to me. Uh, yeah, I had that a couple of times with that plow. Huh. Well, I've never had a problem with it. This is my favorite plow. We'll try it again and see. We'll try again. There we go. There it goes again. Well, maybe I just need to drive faster. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks pretty funny. Yeah. Um, okay, then. On the plus side, I'm getting a nice wide uh, plow. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, well. You can't blame me for plowing like this. This isn't my fault. Just say it was Beavis. It was that Beavis guy. Holy cow, that guy. I tell you. Up to no good. He said, well, he's a Beavis. You know what the Beavis mm. is like. Indeed. He's getting oh, his own TV wow. show. It's called Leave it the Beavis. <laughs> Alright, well, that went a little strange. Yeah, I can't really follow the line here. Alright, so you guys can grab, um, hmm, I'm not sure if there's two cultivators or just one over there, but, uh, okay, uh, yeah, take the, the trailer over, just drop the trailer off and, uh, grab a cultivator, and I'm not sure if there's two cultivators you guys can both cultivate, if there's only one, then one of you can, um, how are we doing for time here, one of you can grab the Unimog and an animal trailer and go sell some some pig cows. Actually, scratch that because I'm leaving that for Carr because I know he wanted to do it, so I think he wanted to do it. Oh, this thing is derping up, but oh well. This is, I cannot be blamed for this. Look at this Toby. <laughs> yep, it's plowing pretty wide. Look out, coming through. Yeah, I think you overdid it a little bit with unfolding that now. <laughs> so the um, trailer next to the grass bunker, or where do you want me to park it? Uh, anywhere there is fine. I'll, I'll probably off screen. I'll go and clean up some stuff. Look out, Toby! This thing's I got a wide load here. <laughs> Craziness. It's too bad Fat's not here. This would make his be real. I think. Yeah. Oops, thought I lifted it. Is 
So now I just gotta find the cultivators. It's up, uh, up above, uh, where the cedars and stuff are kept. Oh, this is really uh, annoying. Okay. Go around and try again. I've never seen it behave this way. If I'd known it would, I wouldn't have even bought this one. Now, does this have something to do with the plow wheels, do you think? Or is it the slope? Mm. Or is it the plow? Maybe both. Yeah. I've had issues with it not even touching the ground because of, I think, because of the plowing effect. Hmm. So what I should be using then is one of those schluters and that would fix the problem. There's a second cultivator here by the way, Toby. Okay. Oh, if there's two cultivators then yeah. Um. This is frustrating. So, to all the viewers, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry it's plowing this way. It's You can't blame me. Well, you can, but I don't accept your blame. <laughs> I retract the reality and substitute my own. That's right. Okay, just um, make this whole mess uh, nice or any particular order? Uh, you can just start going around the, the field on the other direction if you want. That way I'll be done this by the time you get over here, I think. Or you can... Okay. Um, it doesn't matter which side you start from because I plowed close enough to the edge, you'll be fine. I'll just come around the other direction. Mm-hmm. Counterclockwise. If you want to be fancy, yes. Oh, you don't own this field. What is this madness? Um, ignore it. Once you start going, it should, um, let's say, oh, hey, okay, you own this one. What? Oh my gosh, this will make me laugh. Are you having problems there? Uh, yeah, the thing just make a huge jump and left out about a meter of plowage. Yeah, I don't know what the problem is there. Just yeah, must but be also the... also the trailer was acting weird before when I was driving on, on the silage pit. It jumped like in the air for four meters or something like that. Hmm. Well, I wonder if there's a problem on the server, or a problem with that tractor, or what? Maybe it's also the the connection lag. Mm, that could be, but, um, like, this is skipping on me as well. Like, the, uh, the plow is skipping areas, It's but it's bouncing around. Oh, this is... Holy cow. I'm not gonna reach, I'm not gonna reach. Okay, I'm going to rage a little bit, but not very much. <laughs> oh boy. Hurry up and cultivate this and hide my shame. I'll try. Hmm. I'm not even turning the plow anymore, there's no point. So if you want to see me Russia, actually... Russia, the plow turns you. Yeah, that's right. Now if you want to see me plow right, I'll do it on my solo one. At least hopefully it'll work there. I think I'm using this plow on that one too. And that is why I only use the Agrimac because that's a straight plow and you don't have those problems. Yeah, but I've never had this problem before. I've used this plow tons of times. I'm just kind of driving around here and checking things out. Seeing if there's anything else that needs to be plowed. Doesn't look like it though. So, I guess we've got... This is a huge field. I just made it bigger. What the heck was I thinking, right? Does it still... Uh, is it saying we don't own that field? No, no, no. It just said it at the very beginning for like uh, 10 meters and then all was fine. I'm tempted to just buy that field and plow the two together. Might do that next episode. When we go to seed. We'll have to harvest that, obviously, first. We've got a lot of harvesting to do. We actually could probably harvest instead of um, 
prepping this field, but you want to get this one done. Alright, that's no grass there, that's good. Everything looks good for plowing here, so I will return to the farm. And I think we're actually, we're about there, so I think we can call this an episode. Thank you for joining All me, guys. Ready? Yeah, I know, uh, that 30 anytime. minutes just blasted by. Yeah. yeah, thanks for joining me. Say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, goodbye. everybody. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.